Hey everybody, this is Brian, and welcome to the 10th LAMP tutorial. Today we're going to be covering functions. Now, if you're following along with W3Schools, um, you'll notice how functions is way down here, and we left off at strings. Well, I kind of don't agree with the way they're teaching this. They teach you all these other things and then jump down to functions. But functions, you kind of need to understand these to understand what these things are doing. So we're going to jump down to functions, and then we'll jump back up here and cover all these. All right, let's crack open trusty Komodo IDE and we are going to write our function. Now what is the format of a function you ask? I'm glad you asked. See how it simply says function, function name, code to be executed. You can call your function from anywhere in there. There's some rules you have to follow. Um, let's see here. Give the function a name that reflects what the function does. The function name can start with a letter or underscore but not a number. Notice that, not a number. Here's an example. You've got your HTML you're used to, your PHP, and a function, and then something going on here. And see how they're calling that function right name. Well, we're going to go over this real quick. So what we're going to say here is function. And we're just going to say test. Now, notice the brackets. What we're doing here is making a block of code. This is called a code block. Here is our function in all its glory, which means when we call test, everything within these brackets is going to run. So we're just going to say echo one, echo two, and of course, echo three. Why three, you ask? Well, just because we can. Now, what we're going to do is call our function. Gotta love comments. Let you know what's going on in the world. Now to call our function, simply write it out. There we go, one, two, three. So what happens here? Let's examine this. PHP starts executing. It looks for, you guessed it, PHP tag, or I should say PHP code block. It gets here. It says, this is our function. It's common, it ignores it. It says function test. Well, you would think it would just go in here and start executing. No, because this hasn't been called yet. So it jumps right over here and says, OK, what are we doing? We're calling our function. Notice how it has a semicolon at the end. We could very easily take this and plop it up there. See? Same, same results. So now for simplistic sake, let's throw it back down here. And I'm going to give you another function. Print our name. Function We'll just call this print name. Notice how we have a dollar sign, meaning we're creating a variable here. This is actually called a parameter, but it's also a variable. So we'll say echo Actually, let's not do that. Let's just for simplistic sake here, let's just say name. That way you can see what's really going on here. We're going to call our other function. We're going to say print name. Notice how now the IntelliSense pops up and says eat. It's asking for something here. So what we need is to give it a parameter. Let's actually print out a, uh, a hard return here so we don't get confused with what's going on. There we go. One, two, three, and then Brian. So you see what a function is. And yes, before you ask, you can actually make a variable. And let's just say uh, my name. And 
and instead of giving it a wrong string, you can actually pass it a variable. See? Very simple, very easy to understand. A function is just a block of code. For example, here's a block, and then here's a block. And the only time that block of code gets executed is when you call that function name. For example, we're calling test, so it'll execute test. We're calling print name, so or I'm sorry, we're calling print name, so it'll execute print name. And we're also passing a parameter of my name. But in the block, this is called variable scope here, it's used name, not my name. Let's let's examine this super quick. We have a variable called my name we're passing it as a parameter to the function print name meaning right here but in this function we are calling it name we can call that anything we want we can call it fuzzy bunny if you're so inclined as long as it has scope it will work alright this is Brian thank you for watching I hope you found this tutorial educational and entertaining